I will be saying the story of the blossom tree. So once upon a time, there was a very wealthy and and a, there was a very wealthy man. He also had a very high so, high social status. He had many friends and he also he also had many servants. But mo, but out of all the servants, he uh, he trusted one servant the most. He his name was Jigme. He was just a servant. He used to take care of his horses and who who also used to take care of him. um of him of uh, of the great businessman whose name was alaima so jikmi would also take care of alaima in some cases one day um alaima one day alaima decided to um, to expand his business by um, by doing overseas trade in those days it would take months of time to do an overseas trade so while he so while uh, so the so the last day when he, when he when he was leaving for the um when he was lead, when he was uh, le- leaving for the ship um he his friends called him for a farewell party um, all of them ate and all of all of them ate nine all of them ate, ate, ate until until their stomachs were full and and then they discussed some things um during this discussion a friend raised the question alaima while um, alaim alaima as you will be gone for these many months who do you want to take care of your property um have you even thought about it if you did not you should because um if if you did not if because if you did not um, give the task to one of your friends like me then all of your all of your wealth will be gone so say what are you going to do then alaima smiled and said oh i already, i already took care of it i ordered my servant jigme to take care of all, to take care of all my properties and actually he is not a servant he is my friend so i trust him a lot then his friends told what jigme your servant no you can't tr- you can't trust someone who's very poor and still a servant to you no you cannot trust those people you should always trust a man who's your equal i mean like me who has an equal social status and equally wealthy then alaim laughed and said no no i can't trust you guys because um, i just met you like like two like two years or one year ago but but jigme i trust him a lot because he has been working and serving for me since ten um, since many years so i trust him a lot and i and i told him to take care of all my properties while i will be gone for months then his friends thought that he was mad and they and they took him to buddha, buddha so that uh, the great buddha could could teach him, could teach alaima a lesson and and so they went to buddha then buddha smiled and said oh it's it's not a problem it's not it's not a problem if if alaima really wants to give the the responsibility of taking care of all his property to his uh, fr- to his servant but who he considers as a friend to him it's not a problem at all listen i'll say story i'll i'll say story right now so both this uh, told like that and he continued saying the story and um, this and the name of this story was the blossom tree so he said that um, in the great city of benares um, long long ago there used to be a king who ruled the entire empire and um, the king used to grow the king used to love growing plants and and he had a very big garden and that garden had um, that garden in the and that garden had the world's tallest had the world's tallest and most strongest tree in the world and it was very ancient even in that time and that tree was the old blossom tree that tree was so big that people used to say it 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 was reaching the heavens and it roots its roots were went into the deep of the central central earth everyone used to love the tree and because of the tree the whole garden seems to be so beautiful and it seems like it is actually alive and um, the the beauty of the blossom tree from the ground is actually because of the is actually because of the uh, cushy uh, is actually because of the cushy grass at its bottom and everyone everyone did not notice that at all one day while the king and the queen were having were having a little tea party in their palace suddenly a plaster of the ceiling has fallen down on the feet has fallen down near the feet of the king the king got suspicious and when he looked up in the ceiling he um, he witnessed that all, all the parts of the ceiling ceiling were having some uh, were having some were having some cracks or breakings and he soon realized that if the uh, if the whole ceiling won't be replaced then the whole ceiling of the palace will collapse and many people will lose their, will lose their lives so he quickly ordered the servants to get a tree to get a tree strong enough which could support the whole palace the servants did their job and they searched all the palace and all the whole, the whole city but the only tree which they found strong enough to support all the palace is on the blossom tree 
and when the king uh, and 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 when this came to the knowledge of the king he was so he he was just drenched in sorrow he did not know what to do because that was the most ancient most strongest most longest and his beloved tree so he did not really want to cut that tree down but he had to because if he did not do so all the all the lives in the palace would be lost the servants um, they were very they were ready and they went to the and they went to the place for cutting the blossom tree down but the, they 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 noticed the shocking thing um, when they looked yesterday that the tree was magnificent and very strong but now it was uh, it was very weak very soft and it was not useful at all to support his, to support a ceiling like that so they they left the blossom tree and they have repaired the whole ceiling in days taking um, taking very taking very careful precautions and the next day the tree was again strong and very magnificent all the trees we all the trees aside the blossom tree were really confused their souls came out and they have started a conversation with the soul of the blossom tree and asked him how could this happen to you then the soul of the blossom tree said oh i was actually the same the only things who helped me was the was the kushi grass the kushi grass ordered the chameleons uh, told the told the chameleons near my bark to to cover me and to cover me and change the colors so that i could be seen as a rotten tree and i also said them i also said them to to go near the places where the servants are checking my bark so that they will they will uh, touch your skin instead of my strong bark and imagine that i am very weak and i cannot be used for the ceiling and then all the souls of the trees heard that and they were shocked all of them all of them praised the kushi grass and the chameleons for their work which saved the blossom tree from getting cut down and from and and the, and the both and the great buddha he ended his story there and then he said um a, a, you should you should not trust a person based on based upon his outer appearance such as his wealth age social status occupation and etc instead you should trust a person by its inherent by his inherent qualities or his inner qualities thank you